Okay, so yesterday I didn't just watch a Tome game. I also watched another anime. That anime is <sighs> High School of the Dead. High School of the Dead is the most the most mid anime I've ever seen, <laughs> pretty much. Um, The only thing that makes me not want to put it at a 5 out of 10 and makes me want to put it as a 6 out of 10 is that it's surprisingly well done. Despite the fact that um, the pacing is terrible, the story is pretty okay. Um, like There are memorable scenes throughout it. Like, we get treated to a memorable scene straight away with... Um, Higashi? I can't remember the guy's name, but he he's like in love with um, the main like the main guys um, he, he He's like dating the main guys like ex-girlfriend His name's like Takeo I think is the main guy Let me pull up a, a character list just so I get all the names right Oh, it was Hisashi. Okay, so Hisashi dies pretty early. He dies in the first episode. Um, he becomes a zombie in front of Rei Miyamoto. And... Takashi Komura. So, yeah, we get treated to a pretty interesting scene, because there's this sort of awkward love triangle between uh, Takashi, Rei, and Hisashi, and, like, we get a bit of backstory, Takashi's, like, heartbroken, like, he's really, really hurt, and then Hisashi ends up, um, he ends up getting bitten and becoming a zombie, in front of Ray, and then Ray is like prepared to like become a zombie too. But then Takashi ends up killing Hisashi before um, the zombified Hisashi gets a chance to to bite her. Then like they have a scene where like Ray is like crying and she's complaining at Takashi. There's all sorts. It's pretty interesting. Like the anime. The animation was well done. If it wasn't rushed and it was like and it had more episodes, I think personally it would have been like it could even have been like a seven out of ten. Cause like the plot was there. Like everything was there for it to be successful. They just never delivered. And that's why it's the most like mid show ever, pretty much. My anime list gives it a 7.1 out of 10. I don't know what about that anime was 7 out of 10. It literally had everything it needed, pretty much, in that first season to be successful. But they just never delivered because, I don't know, limited budget maybe. But like... Yeah, they they just never delivered. It's not great. Because, like... All of the characters in an... <clears throat> all of the characters in and of themselves were all very interesting. Sayaka Busajima's interesting. Shizuka Marikawa's interesting. Sayatagaki is interesting. Uh, Komura Takashi is interesting. Rei Miyamoto. Alice Marasato. Yuriko Takagi. Rika Minami, all, all of them, all of them were interesting. Kleichi Shido, the, the creepy perverted school teacher, he was, um, 
He was interesting too. Kota Hirano. All of them. All of them were uh, pretty interesting. And hold on a second. I'm not going to edit this out either. I just need to stand up and... Fucking hell. Sorry, I've been feeling a little... Um, under the weather recently. That's why I'm out of frame right now, because I'm wiping my nose. But yeah, um... It was just basically like an extremely mid show. There are so many times that it could have delivered. And it just didn't. And it's so sad. Because, like, you can clearly see um, a lot throughout the anime where it's like, damn, this could be so much better if, you know, they, they explain this part a bit more. If they you know, made this certain part a little longer. Instead of it being like a one episode and we get to see a bunch of scenes and then another, another episode we get to see a bunch of scenes, it kind it just feels wasted. Um, in my opinion. And it's just depressing. Because, like, I was having a pretty good time watching it. The fan service is over the top. That's also another thing that ruins it. It feels like they're trying too hard for the uh, the fan service. Sadly, I wish um, I haven't read the manga. Apparently, the manga's good, but I've watched the anime before, and I wanted to check it out again. Apparently, it's even got an OVA out. It just it it's, it's so much wasted potential, and it's really disappointing, because it could have easily been an eight out of ten show if they would have just given just given more. We just like every little bit of story that we get gets cut off as quickly as we like discover it. They they don't play it out ever. And it's so unsatisfying. When it comes to a show as a whole, yeah, it's, it's pretty okay, but it's not satisfying to watch. Um, there are parts that are satisfying, but overall, overall, it just loses, sadly. Um, Like, they have a lot of chances for character development, for, like, good character development. And y we just don't get it. We just don't. The zombies in and of themselves work like normal zombies. But, like, it kind of feels like the characters are getting used to these changes a bit too quickly as well which is another thing which is another thing that made it feel even more rushed because it it basically just kind of feels like they're basically saying hey we only have this much money let's get this done as quickly as we can and that's basically what happened episode one we get to basically see all of the characters just all of a sudden getting used to this change straight away Rather than it looking like they're being forced to do these things to survive, it more just feels like they're doing these be because it's just what they, they do, you know what I mean? Like, I get it, you know, they want these characters to look cool and appealing, but it just ruins it.
at no point during the anime do you ever feel a sense of like emergency towards the characters even during the one scene where they've crashed their car and they're sort of like surrounded by a bunch of zombies and they can't get out and they have like a whole scene where they're like shooting and running out of ammo and it's like even when you're watching that it's just like you still don't feel a sense of emergency because you 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 feel the plot armor you literally feel the the plot armor it's just it's just disappointing um Yeah, there are a lot of memorable scenes for it. I'd say it's... It's a solid 6 out of 10. Um, if you like fan service, and you like zombie stuff, and you don't really care for a plot, go watch it. It, it could definitely, you know, be something you'd enjoy. As for me personally... It, it then there needs to be more. What studio did this? That's what I want to know. What studio did this? Madhouse. Okay. I'm even more disappointed then. Madhouse has done a lot of good stuff as a studio. Death Note, One Punch Man, Hunter x Hunter, Parasite, Death Parade, The Irregular and Magic High School, Overlord, No Game No Life, Black Lagoon, Helsing Ultimate, Second Season, of Overlord, the No Game No Life movie, Monster, Batum, third season of Overlord, Trigun, Claymore, Ode Monogatari, Summer Wars, Perfect Blue, Hajime no Ippo, Chobits. <sighs> Beck? What more can I say? I, can't, I, can't, I don't have any more to say about High School of the Dead. It was very mid. If you want to check it out, check it out. I can't guarantee that you're going to be satisfied or impressed with it. Even if there are good scenes throughout the whole anime. When it comes to an anime as a whole, especially the ending. It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't deliver. Um, but yeah, that, that's been all. I completely forgot to introduce myself as well. Uh, I'm Lulu Talks. I very much appreciate <clears throat> you watching this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.